Hi everyone, I just want to show you our closing cut today with our color-coded chef's knife. Um, these two items you can get separate or you can buy them as a set. And I got pork chops at Costco and if you're familiar with Costco's, Costco's pork chops, they are rather thick and they would take forever. I mean, look at this. They would take forever to cook anyway. I mean, I'd really have to pound them out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one of them in there. I'm going to close it. This rim keeps my fingers safe. And then I'll just run the knife through here till I get to the end as it keeps hanging up. There we go. And I now cut these in half. So now I can just pound them out once I um, put them in the skillet and we'll be good to go. So let me show you another one. I mean, these things are just absolutely insanely thick. So put them in there, close it up, you hold on to it, take the knife through. So it's got to be a seven inch knife at least, so a chef's knife. Uh, bread knives work great, the seven inch santoku. And you have these beautiful pork chops that have been cut in half. And now I can go ahead and freeze. And it works out great. So let me do one more. And I'll let you get on with your day. This one is rather big too, so let's put it in there. So this closing cut is not just for me. You can cut bagels in half to make them thinner. You can, I guess, quarter them to really get them thin. Um, grape tomatoes, grapes, small mozzarella balls, um, chicken breasts that come, you know, really thick, just like these pork chops. You can do the chicken breasts the same way. And anything that's really um, fits in there. English muffins are great to cut in half this way, um, less of a mess. Wonderful tool. Absolutely love it, like everything else that we have. All right, well, I'll wish you all a happy Sunday, and I'll talk to you later.